So me coming in, it was something that um, I was actually a little shaky about because I was like, is this a space for me? My name is Morgan Brown. I was born and raised in Chicago, now living in New York City. I am a social content creator. I started about five years ago um, on social just for fun. So now I am a full-time social media creator with a focus on skincare. When I think of an influencer, um, I mean, from its origin, it's definitely someone who has an influence, right? Um, but influence doesn't necessarily need 100 million people to follow. Um, it doesn't also need 100, I don't think numbers uh, matter when it comes to influencing. Rather, it's all about um, the content that you are actually putting out or giving to someone for them to receive in order for them to make some change like in their life or a shift in perspective in some way. So that's how I view myself. I actually call myself a creator as I love to create stories, I love to tell stories, and I love to give them to people um, in order for them to kind of see something a little differently or learn about something that they possibly never like encounter or never experience. Don't get me wrong, I don't work a nine to five, but I work hard um, in what I do. Uh, this was a path that was not paved out for me. There was no one, two, three step guide. Um, a lot of the people who are in the influencing world, they started from ground zero. Um, it was nothing like giving to us. So I think we deserve a little bit more than, hey, she just has numbers on Instagram or some social platform. Two years ago is when I lost my father. I would say since that moment, I started living in just a different truth about myself. Um, how I receive things, how I take things in, how uh, like my perception of things. So when I see how I move now in my career or more generally in my life, I definitely love, I, I have to move intentionally now. Um, I move with purpose. I move with light that beams like from my father. Um, I have prioritized doing things that always feel good for me. So with a marketing degree, which I now have, I had a interest in consumer behavior, which makes a lot of sense with what I do. Um, also digital analytics and social production. So when I look at five years from now, um, I don't plan to always have this face value platform. I actually want to be behind the camera um, with a focus on uh, working with brands on how they can optimize their social channels. I remember first getting a social media game, this was probably 2013, so social media was just getting its legs, Instagram specifically, um, and I didn't see a lot of people like me. I started on YouTube, um, and who ran the YouTube community I was definitely like young white girls sitting in their bedroom that looked absolutely nothing like me. And I always had a question like, where are like the girls that represent me? So me coming in, it was something that um, I was actually a little shaky about because I was like, is this a space for me? Like, do black women sit in social media? Do we have a voice? Like, are we able to connect with people that's not in our immediate circles through this like beautiful thing of social media? And once I started getting further and further in my career, and of course I start seeing more people come into the space, it encouraged me to live in my truest and honest and most vulnerable self as a black woman. What social media has done for me, that's been the most impactful, is when I can have people who look just like me, young girls, women, to be like, you know what, because I saw you do that, now I feel like I can do it. And for a long time, even when we think in media space, I mean, we're still getting there. We didn't have that. So to have something as tangible and quick as social media, I mean, it's like, it's life shifting. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Morgan and this is Behind the Magic.